Welcome, we're at the end of week four. Let me provide some context just in case you clicked on this because of the amazing thumbnail. Okay, I'm working on it, working on my thumbnail game. Anybody? Let me give you some context in case this is the first video in the series that you watched. Here in the heart of COVID, I decided to undergo a six month health transformation. The goal, to lose 30 to 35 pounds over the intervening six months. It's important to note that in each video, I'm adding an extra layer, an extra bit of content in. So if you have not yet started, please start with the first video. If you go to the end of this video or go down in the links, there is a link to the playlist. There's one video per week. They're relatively short, pretty condensed. It'll be a good use of your time. But in particular, watch the video on week three, which is the laws of lean. This explains exactly what I am actually doing. So today, I'm gonna give you the results of implementing the laws of lean over the past 30 days. At the beginning, I weighed in just over 202 pounds. For context, I'm five foot eight. It's rough, that's a, that's a lot of weight to carry on that frame. And I was feeling it. Now, 30 days later, I weighed in this morning, just before recording this video, 190.8 pounds. Just let me tell you, that 12 pounds for me was life-changing. My jeans fit again, I have cheekbones, a little bit right there. I don't feel like I need to wear sweatpants, although that could just be because we're now going into June. So conflating factors there. But I have energy, my sweet tooth is completely gone, no more Pop-Tarts, no more pizza. Like life is good right now. And we're just getting started. And what's cool about this is 30 days, you know, three or four weeks, that's when most people fall off the wagon. And because you're doing this with me, because of this accountability, and because the results speak for themselves, I am all in. So. Let's go through these observations that I've made over my first 30 days. The first one I wanted to point out is that we don't get to pick where the weight comes off, you know? So like I have lost 12 pounds. I didn't get to say, hey, I want one or two pounds to come off my chest, one or two pounds to come, you know? No, it doesn't work that way. For me, I've actually noticed that the vast majority of the weight has come off my face and my gut. My butt and legs largely have been untouched up to this point. What's cool about this though is if we do this long enough, we don't give our body a choice. It's all gotta go, right? And so, can you imagine where we'll be another 30 days into this program? It's kind of exciting. Point number two, you're gonna hit sticking points. Stick with it. That brings us actually to point three. We gave ourselves six months for this health transformation. We're not trying to cram this into two weeks. We're not trying to get to the finish line in 15 days. We gave ourselves a long enough window that this truly has to be a lifestyle change. We've moved from diet to lifestyle over the next six months. This first 30 days trained us to get rid of our sweet tooth. And what I mean by that is, when you have six months, we don't have time to screw it up. We don't have time to backtrack. We don't have time to give up and snowball and everything else. But we do have time to make adjustments, adjustments to the plan, right? So you go watch the third video in the series, The Laws of Lean, do that. And then if we need to at some point, because we hit a sticking point that we just can't break past, we can make small adjustments. Six months gives you the perfect amount of time to understand what's going on with your body, how your body will respond, and make these small micro adjustments that guarantees we get the success we're looking for. And that brings us to point four, reasonable expectations. So based on my own experience, both in this health challenge that we're doing, but also from diets that I've done in the past, this, in 30 days, I lost right around 10 pounds. I think that's a reasonable amount to lose your first month of doing some pretty intensive training. When you clean up your diet, cut the processed food, that first month, if you are morbidly obese, and that would be a BMI, I believe over 35, and your fat cells are rather large, and you have a lot of water with that. So when you start a diet like this, you're actually going to probably lose more than 10 pounds the first month. For example, when you see like Biggest Loser, one of the reasons they're able to lose so much weight so fast in the early days is they are carrying a lot of water weight, right? For those of us that would fall in terms of the BMI category in the overweight category, which I am, we don't have as much to lose. So 10 pounds is a reasonable metric for us to try and hit that first month. But as we get closer and maybe we only have 10 or 15 pounds left to go, you're probably not gonna be able to lose 10 pounds a month unless you're David Goggins -y. Day, right, 100 miles a day. For the rest of us, realistic goals are probably 10 pounds a month, and that will start tapering down the closer we get to the finish line. So my goal for myself, 10 pounds this month, eight pounds next month, probably five to six pounds each month thereafter. Give yourself enough room though to achieve whatever goal that you have for yourself. All right, let's talk about point five, trend weight versus lowest recorded weight. So this morning I weighed in at 190.5. When I step on the scale each morning, it doesn't always go straight down. 
Sometimes it stalls, and sometimes it goes up a little bit. This is due to variances in your body's own chemistry, your diet, your exercise level, et cetera, and that's okay. What's nice, especially if you use apps that incorporate this, like Happy Scale, I believe, for iOS, and Libra, Libra, I'll have links in the description, for Android, these apps will actually incorporate a trend weight. So a trend weight is a lagging five to seven day measurement that looks at all of your weigh-ins, which can have a lot of variance in them, and it smooths out that line. Now, most of your weigh-ins, assuming you're following protocol, following the plan, will be lower than that trend weight. Your trend weight will catch up, but this smooths out what you're doing and allows you to understand the variance you're seeing and not freak out if you're one pound heavier, you know, tomorrow or the next day. And so I might notice that, like for instance, today I'm 190 pounds, 190.8 pounds. I might be 191 tomorrow, maybe 192 on a heavy lifting day where I'm drinking more water, eating more carbs, and then it might clean up, you know, the following Saturday or Sunday. And I might start noticing uh, new lows the following week. On average, I'm seeing right around at this point, I'm seeing right around a pound to a pound and a half a week of weight loss. When I started, it was closer to two pounds. And so I think just understanding your lowest recorded weight will not always go straight down, that's totally fine, but you should be able to see a predictable trend. And if your trend line is not going down, that could be a problem. Let me just give you some quick instructions here. If this is the first video that you watched in this series, the playlist is right here. Go check that out. Start with episode one, work your way through them, incorporate them into your life. Make sure you don't skip number three in the series as it's discussing the laws of lean, which we're actually doing on this program. Let me know in the comments if you're taking me up on this challenge, if you're doing it with me. And if you're interested in the bet I made with myself to lose 10% of my body weight over the next six months, I did that with a company called Healthy Wage. For more information, to find out more, go to choosefine.com slash healthywage. And we'll see you in the next video.